So there is a story <laughs> with uh, Small Soldiers and I. Besides it being an underrated classic, I have a story to tell about Major Chip Hazard. When I was a little kid, a dumb little kid, I owned a Major Chip Hazard action figure and I owned Archer here. I own these two and I foolishly brought one to school which was Major Chip Hazard and I got in trouble in class for bringing in of course teacher uh, basically took it away but the principal was the main one who took it away her name was Mrs. Battle I can never forget that fucking name <laughs> but well if you know, the Small Soldier toys were really hard to find back then. I guess they were really popular, the toys were, because my mom would search everywhere. And at the time, I'm a little kid, and, I'm, and we're broke, so it was a miracle to find even one of these things. So, I get my toy taken away, okay. When am I going to get it back? Hmm. Try never. This is not my original Chip Hazard action figure. We actually found one at a thrift store. My mom found one at a thrift store about a year or two ago. And she said that she was going to give it back. And she never did. And my mom had a hissy fit. And she would go up there and ask about it constantly. I honestly believe that she had a whole stack of people's toys that she took from other kids and gave it to her kids or just kept it for herself. I have no idea. Yeah, and I was generally really upset that I never got Major Chip Hazard back. I do own a damaged version of him, but he's like missing his legs and it's a really small version of him. But I am so grateful that I that we found another one. And these things are expensive online nowadays. So I am very happy to get one. But Mrs. Battle oof, hated that principal. She was not a good principal at all. It was a crappy school anyway. I have gotten many of my toys... <laughs> stolen and over the years but to have a principal take it and never give it back i mean i had my game boy advance taken by a teacher and they never gave it back but i think i'm more pissed off about the major chip hazard because those things were hard to find and you know i had luckily i still have archer major chip hazard slam fist I can't think of the Rhino guy's name. I used to have Ocula, but he got buried in the backyard and we can never find him anymore. Apparently, the owner who has the house now that I used to live in found it, but he donated it to the Goodwill or something. Oh well. At least, hopefully, some kid will enjoy Ocula if, if he was even found. Buried alive in the backyard by my one of my friends. But, yeah... Gotta watch out on some of your toys. They could be worth a lot of money. I mean, these, at the time, Power Rangers and Small Soldiers and Transformers, some of the action figures were so hard to find and so expensive. I never got a Power Ranger action figure outside of McDonald's action figures until 1999 when I got a Megazord thing for Christmas. And it was the blue one, and that one will always hold a special place in my heart. Um, unfortunately, I don't know where any of... I think I still have the headpiece. Everything else is missing and gone. But I still own some of my toys that I own from 20 plus years ago. And this story is like 20 years ago, too. So I was in first grade? I think I was in first grade. First grade or second grade. I'm pretty sure it was first grade. But yeah, never got the toy back. Thankfully, I found 
a major chip a action figure, the exact one I had when I was a kid. Really crappy thing to do. I hope that that principal is not principal, you know, not being a principal for any school anymore. She was not nice as a person at all. 